Hey everyone, it's Sam McKay from Enterprise DNA here. Okay, today I'm going to show you some really advanced budgeting analysis. So what we're looking at here is, is actually a, a an entire model that I developed and I actually showcased in uh, one of the workshops uh, for the Enterprise DNA webinar series. And, and it was all about advanced budgeting. I, I will leave the link below to the entire workshop uh, in the description. So if you do want to watch that, certainly check it out. But what I want to do here is just break out uh, one of the more advanced topics that I went through and that is to create cumulative budgets now this was a really advanced session so what we've what I had to do here was I had to create my budgets and there was a seasonality aspect to my budgets and then I needed to showcase them in a cumulative way and so if I break this out you'll see here that we've got so we're, we're comparing our budgets versus our sales and our sales last year so this dark blue line is the budgets uh, and you can see here that how we're going um, you know, in terms of performance versus that budget. And it's dynamic, so I can change the time frame. I can actually change the selection of, say, products here and see how we've gone, etc. So, so in terms of you know, dynamically exploring how you're going against your benchmark or budgets, this was, this was a really uh, good technique to showcase. Now, all I want to say here is to create this cumulative total is just not easy. It is not easy. It's, it's probably one of the more advanced things that you can do in Power BI. So this is what I want to break out in this session. I want to show you the formula that I used uh, and, and, and the technique that I used to actually do it. And it actually showcases a number of really amazing things that you can do with the DAX formula language. Okay, so basically I'm going to show you how we can create this cumulative total. That is going to be the main thing that I cover. So if I just jump to another page, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to um, set up the uh, scenario in a, in a table so you can actually see what we're doing. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just bring in my dates here and I'm going to go and grab my total sales measure. I'm just going to bring that in. And then I'm going to also, I've, I've pre-created what I've called the budget allocation. And so I'll bring that in and you'll see that this budget, this budget is allocating for every single day because we're looking at it a daily context, right? And this is how you can represent it in a chart. This at the moment is not cumulative though, so we need to improve that. But let's just have a look at this one. Now, there, this looks a little bit complicated, but uh, it's, it's if you can work your way through the, the way it's set out with variables, then it's actually not too bad. Um, and so, but the, I'm not going to go through it in this video because um, I have gone through it in other videos. Um, I will try and leave the, the, the links to those in the description. But budget allocation is all about taking budgets, right, that might be at a different granularity. That might be at a monthly granularity like they were in this example. They could be at a yearly granularity. They could be at a weekly granularity. And it's all about allocating that across different um, context right and in this case we're trying to allocate it across a daily context and so you can see here that we've got the total sales which are coming in per day and then we've got our budget allocation which was a monthly budget allocated for every single day this this example actually had even more complexity to it because the budget was broken out by month and this is it here by month but also be by product so we had a pro we had a product a product allocation and a monthly allocation. So that even brought more elements to it. But this formula this formula actually solves it for us and it does that allocation for us. And it's actually dynamic as well. So what I could have done is I could actually change this to say month and year instead of the date, and the budget allocation works perfectly as well. So that's that's what we've achieved with the budget allocation a dynamic way to allocate our budgets, which is really really effective. But we want to get it into a cumulative total, right? So what what we need to do, or what we what we what I'll showcase first, is that this is what this is ultimately the visualization that we can get from that uh, um, from those calculations, right? We can see our daily performance and um, compare that to our budget allocation. So pretty um, a very good uh, insight uh, just by just in itself. But I want to show this cumulatively, right? So I'm going to turn this into a table. Now, cum the cumulative total pattern, the cumulative total pattern is, I've showcased this many times, but um, certainly, you know, you want to review this. You want to be able to uh, at least almost memorize this, right? Because if I bring this in, it's easy to write out, and then very quickly we can just get a cumulative total, and it updates for whatever time frame we select, which is really, really effective. Okay, but now the cumulative budgets, that's the difficult thing. That is the difficult thing that we want to work out here. And I want to show you the formula that you have to use inside of here. It's not as it's not as easy as just a straight copy and paste of this and then putting the budget allocation formula, like what we've got here, into 
um, this uh, this uh, we, we put the measure inside this cumulative total um, pattern. You have to create a uh, something slightly different. You have to create a virtual table inside of here that um, enables us to iterate through and create the calculation. So let's review what the cumulative budget um, formula. Uh, is okay and so this is the big difference this is the big difference in the cumulative uh, budget formula that we require right is that we couldn't just go and put budget allocation in there what we needed to do is we needed to wrap the budget allocation inside a sum x formula and we needed to create a virtual table to iterate over and to then sum the budgets okay and so what we're doing here within the summarize this summarize is basically creating a virtual table of every single day. It is basically creating this table here where we've got the date and the budget allocation, just those two columns. It's creating that table virtually, iterating through it, and then summing up the budgets column. What's really interesting about this particular, if you, if you have a look at this particular um, element or parameter inside this formula, you see that it's not actually the same color as budget allocation, because what it is doing is within the sum x, we are virtually calculating up the virtual column that we created. Now this is a pretty amazing technique in Power BI, especially with DAX, right? Is that you can create these virtual tables and within certain iterating functions, you can actually reference, you can actually reference a column that you've virtually created and then go and sum it up. And this is exactly what we need to do to create the cumulative budget. We need to use this exact technique. This part of the formula is exactly the same as our other cumulative total patterns. There's nothing different there. Um, and that's great because then it can continue to work in with all the other calculations that we do but this part is different we need to create that virtual table add the budget allocation which is the calculation we've already got on our table here but then virtually go and calculate up this new column of information so iterate through every single row every single day and every single budget allocation and go and um, calculate it up and then in the cumulative total pattern go and work out the um, uh, for every single day how much uh, has accumulated prior to that particular day and then so if I grab this check this out I'll grab this and I'll drag it into the table and you'll see that this actually is calculating up let's have a look at the first result here 62,000 <coughs> but then it's accumulating one by one by one and what's really cool about this cumulative total I think it represents this insight really really effectively is that it uh, um, this this budget allocation is actually seasonal so you'll see that we're we're taking into account the seasonal aspect of our budgets um, but we're actually uh, accumulating it and it, well, we're, we're, we're putting we're wrapping a cumulative total uh, pattern around it to represent it in a slightly different way and I think that's a really really effective way to showcase this and so just to finish off uh, I'm going to delete those out of the table and I'm going to show you that now we have a um, a cumulative total pattern right and um, we might have to adjust things again slightly because you'll see that um, you'll see that this actually um, there's no results here so we might want to actually um, uh, take those off the visualization you can do that relatively easily I've showcased that in some other videos too um, and so there you go you can see it in a, in a cumulative way and you know potentially this is it, it depends what you want to showcase right this I think this top visualization showcases this particular one in, in, a, in a really really effective way but then if we jump back to the example you can see that you know as soon as you start um, narrowing down say the product selection that you have or or just selecting a few groups of products it actually I think effectively shows the deviation a little bit better and you can wrap in you know obviously we're showcasing cumulative sales last year as well um, yeah so I, I, I think you know from a visualization perspective when you're trying to add a few of these elements together and you're trying to identify trends cumulative totals are a really good way to showcase that so if you wanted to um, so certainly if, if you want to look at the end there's, there's there was many other things that I went through in the advanced um, budgeting session um, that that probably was the most advanced but I mean it's an amazing technique right? I mean just think of all the applications now that you could you could implement and use utilize that for but there's many other things that went into this I'll put a link below to the um, uh, link below to the uh, the the full replay, um, which is which is up on YouTube as well. Um, if you want to actually have a play around with this, it's actually up on the showcase page. So uh, the showcase page at Enterprise DNA. Um, you all you got to do is just go to the Enterprise DNA website and find the showcase, and you'll see here that you can actually utilize. I've actually um, at the time of recording, it's one of the most recent um, releases on the showcase, and you can see that uh, you can actually utilize it. You can actually play around and see um, and, and and see what you can achieve uh, with this particular 
with this particular report. Okay, so yes, I think um, it's gone on a little bit longer than I probably um, would have liked there, but that's okay. Um, there's a lot to learn in this particular in this particular example. So if you if you really like the content um, and you can throw the video a like, really really appreciate it. Um, there um, there is also much more content um, on Power BI coming out through Enterprise DNA TV. So certainly subscribe um, to uh, to the channel and you'll get all of that as soon as it comes out. Okay, all the best uh, utilizing these budgeting techniques. Um, you know, there's lots of, I've, I've got a few budgeting videos up there, so, so certainly check those out. Um, if this is what you are having to work on, um, you know, there's some pretty awesome stuff, uh, pretty amazing stuff that you can do around, around budgeting analysis and Power BI, so all the best with it.